sorry. Okay, so what about the insect tasting even? In French it is called croque insect. And um, where well, some facts about this, it's um, where well, it has been presented that it, well, it was presented in, uh, in from 1993 to 2000. And after that, uh, every two years, oops, sorry. And the bites were free, uh, the admission, uh, except the admission free fees. And uh, we, I have to say here that the, the, um, the tasting was done only the weekend around the winter break in the afternoon from one to, to four, four o'clock. So, uh, and during the, the week the, of the winter break, it was the Wednesday, and sometime it was also the Friday. Uh, the objective of the event was to allow the visitor to taste the various insect and insect-based insect uh, dishes, and to inform the visitor of the use of insect as food. We also want to bring the visitor to think about their perception of insect eating custom around the world. And to reach this objective, the, the link with the visitor was really important. And this is why we encourage uh, them uh, by the presence in the, on the floor of the educational uh, scientific edu educator. And they were there to answer the question and to, have interact, in, to interact with the visitor and to present the, the, the custom, the culinary custom of the world. And they were also uh, there to help the visitor to have a, a good experience when they taste insects. Uh, we also have a team of 15 to 20 volunteers to help on the floor, so those people were there mostly to prepare the plates and also to serve the bite, uh, and they were formed by us to, uh, uh, to fit the, 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 quali the standards set by the Food Inspection Department of Quebec. The volunteer was also in charge of uh, selling some insects, because people coming at the that were people were, that were coming at the insectarium was also really uh, impressed to 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 have insects to bring home to uh, to share with their family and also to and and just to to help uh, to have a friend to taste it. So it was a request from the the, the visitor and for us it was also funding for the uh, non-profit organization. The culinary expertise was also important, and it was done with uh, a leader in Canada, a specialist uh, uh, with training in tourism, hotel, and restaurant services. And the name is uh, the of this institute is the Institut de Tourisme et d'Hôtellerie du Québec, which is renowned, uh, has uh, as said in Canada. And they were doing a really great job, for, and they were really a part of the success of this event. The chef was also very important. We had two in the past two years, uh, in the, uh, not the two years, but during all the event. And the first one was uh, Jean-Louis Temis, who is from uh, Madagascar. And he was eating insect when he was young, and he was really um, passionate to uh, present the dishes to the public. And uh, the second one was also also passionate by the, the event, and her name is Nicolas Gagnon. She's from Quebec, but she was really convinced of, of this new um, uh, activities. Well, not more an activity, but a new culinary uh, uh, habitude. I'm sorry for the French. So the exhibition was a thematic one. We used to have uh, every year, it was, uh, for example, Oriental or African dishes, and also, uh, well, more traditional one in the Western uh, America. And um, the, it was, in fact, also um, an event to celebrate the anniversary of the Insectarium because we opened in February 1990. And uh, every uh, insect tasting was a reason to celebrate our anniversary with a meal warm cake or uh, and cake. And people really enjoyed it too. 
Uh, to have a fun atmosphere was also important because it was, uh, as uh, the ladies before me mentioned, uh, to eat is also a celebration and it's a um, festivity with family. So it was so uh, to to have music and to sh to sing with people was also really interesting. And our chief was particularly uh, uh, aware of that, and he even compose a song for the event that uh, uh, I will not sing, sing to you now, <laughs> but it uh, was really uh, a nice song. So the menu now, the menu was also very important. So the classics over the year, we have uh, the cakes uh, with ants and mealworms and crickets. Uh, chocolate covered cricket was also the most popular every year we had to present them. And the mealworm was cooked in various ways and pizza, cookies, cakes and uh, dips and everything. So you have some example here. And also we wanted to present exotic uh, insects as uh, like uh, mopani worms here cook in uh, coconut milk or silkworm pupae in pasta shell and also the walking sticks that, we, that the people really enjoy. People was, were aware to have um, an, un, uh, 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 an insect uh, adult, you know, they wanted to see the insects. Some of them didn't want to but most of them wanted. So it was important to them to have a, a whole insects to, to bite. We also have some South American queen ants with nachos uh, in 2003. And then uh, some cricket again and locust uh, Indian style uh, in sushi, uh, the cricket in sushi and also sucre à la crème, which was really popular too. The sweet taste was also uh, required every year. <laughs> so the attendance of the event as we can see here, uh, we used to have a really good attendance. Uh, at the beginning, we were around 15,000 people every event, so it means uh, around 2,000 to 2,000, 5,000 people in three hours, uh, and which was a really a good um, crowd to manage and also to serve. And as you can see, it's uh, and uh, it, it it was. Uh, Increasing with time, with the bites, uh, the number of bites, were, and also the, the menu was diverse, so people were coming and interested to come. But in 1998, we also had a new event that was attractive for the visitor, which we call, which it's called Butterfly Go Free. Uh, this event is held in the botanical garden in, uh, in the greenhouse uh, where we release butterflies and it's a good time of the year when there is uh, the snow, the winter is, uh, is long and people are sick to have snow, they are waiting for spring and to go and visit the, the, the greenhouse is really important for them because they, it's like uh, uh, the summer for them and uh, it's important and to have the insect tasting with this in the same time was a good time, was a good thing for us because it was um, uh, really uh, answering to uh, what well, it was really uh, satis the people, the visitor was really satisfied of it. But in the same time, it's right, it was really a big, uh, a big uh, quantity of work for us because we are not a big team. And as we will see later, this will have uh, influence the. Uh, the presentation of the insect tasting event. So if we look behind the scene of the, uh, of the event, it was an event that we have to plan during one year. Uh, and from May to August, we have to select the species and to rear them, uh, those that we were uh, able to rear were mostly the walking sticks, the mi migratory locust, and also the silk wing, uh, silk mill, uh, well, no, sorry, silk moth, <laughs> sorry, silk moth, uh, well, silk worm pupae, or chrysalis, we call it, yeah. And we have to plan, uh, to have a bite, you know, to have a thousand to a thousand twenty-five bites, which was a lot for us. 
But uh, we succeed every year and we were proud of us. And here you have an example of the frozen bee larvae that we served in 1996. The beekeeper uh, used to collect the, the larvae during the summer for us and they were collected uh, with, um, uh, uh, well, he developed a, a technique to have it, uh, have uh, the, the larvae really um, frozen quickly and to keep them in a good condition. And uh, well, we did not serve the adults because of the venom uh, and it was important for the uh, food uh, department of Quebec to, to be uh, aware of that. So in fact, during all the event, the, the 10 and more, 10, 10 years and more, we serve around 20 species of insects. So the, you, can, you know the milkworm, the, the, well, mealworm, sorry, mealworm larvae, the crickets, the adults, the adults of locus migratoria, the, the, uh, the domestic bees, the uh, bombyx mori, the chrysalis of silkworm, the larvae of the waxworm, also the black hand from China, the Santander caviar from South America, a few, some three species of scorpion from Asia, and also many species of walking stick from mainly from Asia too. Oh, the scorpion was also from uh, North America. And we also had the, the Mopani worm from Africa. So which uh, uh, to have exotic uh, insect was really, uh, people were asking for them. And as I said previously, they were expecting to have a whole insect. So it was important to have a, a, vari a, va a, a good variety. And to give you an idea of the quantity, just for 1998, 1999, uh, the walking stick, the, the locust, and the uh, silkworm chrysalis, uh, well, those are the insects that we were able to rear at the insectarium, and the maximum, well, the, the, our capacity was around 19, uh, nine, uh, sorry, 9,000 uh, specimens for the summer. But uh, with scorpion, and mopani worm, black ant, that those, all the other were, all the other insects were by uh, outside of the country, and they were um, and the cricket mealworm and the waxworm were, were, was easy to find, as you know. You, for those who organize a bug banquet, you, you surely know that. So at this time, the insect was not an insect, but was food. So the food inspection department of Quebec was uh, looking at us and said, "Are they edible? Because now you are not." A museum, you are a restaurant, so you need to check if your insects are edible. And for that, we helped them to develop uh, a guide for their inspector because they did not know anything about insects. And we have to help them to to find to find reference and also uh, how the insects were reared and all this kind of stuff that they they were not aware of. And also. Um, then after that we were able to uh, have a permit and to meet their strict quality standard that they were asking that that they were asking for us that for us to have so here we had to before when we a species was selected the species was um, sent to a laboratory a private laboratory to test if the the uh, all the uh, the bacteria and thing like this was okay for and was a, a, a standard for the for the as it as it is in the restaurant. So in this sense, we have contributed to help the the, the department, the food department, to develop a good uh, expertise in uh, in this uh, in this sense. So if we continue to the planification, so in September, December, it was important to plan the exhibition, to promote and to market the event, to test the recipe, but the most important was the work of our technician in entomology. Four, four of them were working in that, 
and they have to clean uh, well, some uh, they have to rear them but uh, some of them but they also have to clean them to sort them and to freeze them in a plastic uh, box like this the, those plastic container and all the insects were uh, prepared to help the chef to to um, to have the the right quantities for each weekend and for each hour in during the weekend because for example for the scorpion we didn't have enough specimen for all the people so people have to re to have the chance to taste a scorpion so every hour the sc a quantity of scorpion was served but uh, ev uh, but all during the the hour the other meat were available so all these insects were were prepared in these plastic container and then they were sent to the chief just uh, the week, the few days before the, the event. So in January, the, the, the exhibition has to be set and also the, the volunteer was formed by our staff, educational staff. And then uh, in February, the insectarium was a restaurant and all the exhibit that you can see here Maybe you can see here the exhibit was placed in a row to allow the circulation of the the crowd, and um, they was they were used as a table for for the event. And during this time at the Institut de Tourisme et d'Hôtellerie, they were cooking and sex. And here just a few uh, few examples like the the locust. They were cooked in the in the oven, and then they were seasoning with the Mexican or Indian style, and they were ready to serve. And as you can see in this uh, slide, the crowd was at the rendezvous because we had always a thousand of people uh, during the event. It was really popular. And uh, people was, like Marianne says, they were afraid. It was exactly what Marianne and, and the lady said before me. And, but the, we also had a crowd effect. People was there and to see other people eating and to see that it was not so bad, they were, uh, they, so they tested and they challenged it and they were really glad to have, to have taste and insect. And in this sense, our goal were reached because people, uh, one time a friend of mine, an entomologist friend of mine told me that uh, when he used to go to school and teach entomology to kids, they said, okay, I, I, they used to say, okay, I kill an insect, I trap an insect, uh, and I, I, caught, I caught an insect. But now they were saying, I eat an insect, and they were proud to say that. So I think in this sense, the education was there. Okay, thank you. And here again, the crowd, and you have the media. I, I will not uh, talk about media, but they were really uh, also attracted by the insect, by this uh, thing. And here is the insectarium team because we have uh, we are not so many. We have three entomologists, three technician, uh, three person working in uh, edu educational service. The person working at the um, for to welcome the visitor and also the one to. Um, to uh, clean the, the museum. So uh, we are not a such big team to organize all this event, and, but we were happy to do it. And now, if we, would, if we have a look at the people who were in t eating those insects, so we, you, we uh, provide them with the form, you know, uh, to fill a form to and ask, him, ask the visitor some question to have the profile of the visitor. And then uh, we realized that the visitor usually have between 18 and 34 years old. And it was m the women who were more attracted by the event than men. And also that uh, most of them the have a university, uh, uh, was a scholarity of the university. Uh, and they were coming to eat and sick by curiosity first, but also some of them were there by to because it was uh, an activity. It was really for them an activity to, to and time to share with friends and family, and also 
12 of 12 percent of them were it was because it was a challenge for them to eat an insect and finally uh, almost 12 percent was there to because they were open to culinary tradition to new cul cul sorry culinary traditions and if we come back here to the attendance, so you, we have, as we saw, the, the, the attendance was almost uh, double of the beginning, but at the end, they were half of, uh, the, the, the attendance was really low. And we can, and because, in fact, as I said, uh, butterfly go free just during the three weekend was also attract, attract, also attracted 35,000 visitors, which was um, around uh, a, a really big uh, task for us to receive all those people. So we decided to split the event and to do one another time. And the insect tasting was, so before to change it, we asked uh, the population, we asked uh, the, the visitor opinion, and 95.5% said November was a good time and 70% 70 said that they will come back. So we did it in November in 2002 and 2003, but, but the people was not really there. And probably November is not a good time. It's the beginning of the winter. People are, uh, uh, it's dark outside at five o'clock and also the student, are, the, the children are at school. So it was not a good time as it was at, in the, um, at the winter break. So we decided to do it in June. Maybe it will be easier to do for people to come. And we did it outside the insectarium for many reasons, because the uh, insectarium was too, were, were too small to receive all those people. And also uh, the collection of insects was becoming to be affected by the cooking of the, of the uh, insects. So we did it outside with the uh, tent. And also it was like a festival with the ins uh, insect organization was, were invited to come. And we did activities with the kids, so it was like a festival where people can come. But uh, again, it was not a succeed for the insect tasting. People were not uh, in, in the same mood that they were during the winter break. They were, it was the beginning of the, the summer, but they were uh, children were still at school and they were working out to clean the garden and to prepare the, the, the holidays, so they were not there. So we did not do it uh, since then at the insectarium. We don't know if we will do it, but for now we have some insect that we c the people can taste at the, they can buy it at the boutique. The, the sample that I have it, uh, are, you will see uh, if you want. And if you ask me if the insect food uh, uh, is for the Western, the Western people, is the people from West country are really uh, ready to eat insects, I will say yes, but really with condition. They are, we still have a lot to do about this, even uh, and education is really important. Thank you.